All right, appreciate everyone joining us this morning. Recapping, uh, recapping our 2017 signing day, and I'll introduce football head coach Brian Bohannon. Well, we're awfully excited today. Uh, you know, uh, coaches, we were standing in the hallway, and it's amazing that this was our fourth signing class and how fast time has gone um, since we started this thing out. Uh, there's no question that the 2017 uh, Kennesaw State football signing class is the most talented uh, we put together since we've been here. Uh, first of all, i got to say congratulations to each member of our staff. Uh, and that's everybody included for their hard work they put in uh, to bring these young men to Kennesaw State. And uh, it's a tribute to this university and everything going on, that the caliber of player uh, and student that we can bring in here uh, to do the things we want to do. So we're awfully excited about it. There's a lot of different ways you can look at this class from a, uh, you know, the breakdown. There's a, 11 kids from the, the state of Georgia. There's four from Alabama. There's one from North Carolina. But when you turn the tape on, what you first see is speed. This group of kids can run. Uh, every kid you turn on, you know, I was with some guys this morning like, wow, he's fast. I said, well, wait till you see the next guy. Uh, this group of skilled kids can run. And that's something from day one we've talked about uh, is speed. I think the other area we addressed is for the first time, we've really signed two interior defensive tackles. Uh, we haven't done that since our first class. And, uh, you know, uh, the three guys up front we signed on the defensive line are all big physical guys um, that were a priority for us. At times we felt like in the past we've – at times we've gotten mashed a little bit. And uh, that was an area we kind of went out and we found some guys that are a little bigger bodies that can move. And uh, we're excited about that. So it's a really all-around great class. I think when you break it down into transfers and then to the high school kids, we got three transfers that enroll right now. Um, those guys came to us, and they were specific needs. Uh, Dorian Walker, obviously, uh, with his accolades from Mount Perrin, um, you know, come in. We were looking for a DB transfer. Uh, we lost some really good production in the secondary, and you're looking for something that can help that a little bit. And uh, he's going to play corner for us, and we're excited about Dorian. Uh, you look at a young man, Sean Furlow, uh, with a connection from Tim Carter, who's at North Cobb High School's assistant coach, was his high school coach. Uh, a slot back, you're losing the production of a guy like Chaston Bennett. You got a guy that can come in along with a lot of the other young guys and hopefully, you know, pick up the slack a little bit. And you got a young man named Peyton Moore, who's really a true freshman. Um, Peyton and Dorian, both we recruited out of high school, so we're very familiar with them uh, to come in and compete at that rush position. So those three guys are here and they're enrolled. And then the other uh, 13 uh, freshmen will be here this summer and uh, all will come in with an opportunity to compete and, uh, and get on the playing field. So we're awfully excited. Um, like I said, I feel like this is by far the best class we put together. I think that's a tribute to everything going on here, plus us being on the field and having a little success. And as I told our team uh, in our team meeting, you know, we, uh, we came here to win championships. It's what we came here to do. Uh, we're getting closer. But uh, this offseason and with the addition of these guys coming in, it's time for this program to take that next step. And, and that's going to come from our locker room and our guys there, uh, in addition with everybody coming on board. So we're awfully excited about where we are. Uh, I could stand up here and talk, but I'm going to open the floor for any questions. Uh, specifically about anybody in the class. I don't like to get into a bunch of names in broad terms, but I'll be glad to ask specific questions about any individuals you guys might have questions about. I mean, when, are, are you looking for specific guys when you're recruiting that have that kind of postseason experience that has played just past what a regular season is? And what does it say about the program in your mind that, you know, the, the better high school programs in the state are, uh, have players that are embracing you at such an early age knowing that uh, they're coming from programs? Right. First part of that would be, yes, it's a part of the equation. There's a, there's a total 
total package of recruiting that you're looking at from a from a character, from a work ethic, from a athletic ability to a position fit based on things we need. Obviously, we want to see do they know how to win? You know, I mean, which kind of leads John to a little bit about what you're saying. I mean, if you got guys that are playing for championships and in the playoffs, then that's in the, that's 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 part of who they are. That's part of their DNA. So I think that's definitely a part of the equation as we go look at that that total picture of a young man and how he fits our program from a culture standpoint. And I think the last part of that you ask, I, I think it says a lot about what's happened with our kids in the program today, what we've been able to do on the field, and the impression we've made in a short period of time uh, to this community, to the state of Georgia, and even beyond that now, that uh, – the KS has a lot more recognition than it used to. And I think that is the ultimate goal. When people see that KS, they're like, all right, we know what that's about. We know the brand of ball they play in, and we know that we line up and, and we're going to have to play them. We're in for a dog fight. And uh, I think I give our kids a lot of credit uh, to this point. They've done that. They've established that. you know. Uh, and so I think that recognition, I think guys are starting to see it um, on the grass, and we had a chance to to uh, compete for a championship last year. You know, we, we were at the door. Uh, we didn't get it done, but we're getting closer. And uh, I think people recognize that. And uh, I think from a leadership standpoint at this university with athletic director Vaughn Williams and our president Sam Olins, uh, their support for this university being successful. You know, and obviously football is a great, what I call a front porch, you know, to see what all the great things are going on here. And that's what we said from day one. And I think it's getting better every day, and we'll continue to do what we're doing. How many do you anticipate making contributions right away in, in games? Well, I think obviously the, the transfer kids, that's why they're here. That's why they're enrolled now. Um, but they got to go earn it. Uh, I tell every one of them, just like I would tell any of our kids here now, I said, I'm, I'm not going to treat you any different than anybody else. You got to come earn your stripes here. But obviously they're here for a reason. Um, we feel like they have the ability uh, to come in and help us. So I would say they are first. And then, truthfully, it's hard to say uh, with those freshmen. There will be some that play. There will be some that are redshirted. But, uh, you know, over the years I've tried to guess that, and I'm usually wrong. Uh, you just don't know the makeup and how a young man could come in and handle the rigors of, of, uh, of college and, and practicing and all that stuff. Some will be more prepared than others. And, uh, and sometimes it's just based on depth and where they can help us. So um, hard to say. I, there'll be some that play. Uh, how many, I don't know. But there'll definitely be some that play out of that class. Uh, I, it's so hard to say. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to predict all the ones from a year ago either. But uh, it worked out It worked out pretty good. Usually we can figure it out once we get into camp. Depth is always the biggest challenge when you're a new program. It's, it's, a, pro, it's a challenge when you're not a new program. So how do you feel this class addresses what you're continuing to well, if you go look at it, I mean, there's you'll see some positions we really didn't touch on, but you see other positions there was an emphasis. You know, we didn't take quarterback, we didn't take a wide out, um, but every other spot there were certain things we were we were targeting from a depth standpoint. And I'll be honest, we recruiting, it's like a two year out deal. It's not now. I'm looking two years down the road. You know, when our first class leaves, what is it going to look like? I mean, we went and did a little, little roster evaluation. We had like 43 guys on our roster that are all in one class. So we, we got to do a great job of continuing to build that up because I'm looking a couple years down the road, not next year necessarily. I mean, obviously. But uh, so I think we address some needs. You know, uh, you look at slot back. I mean, we, we, we've, we've been trying to get that room built up. And, uh, I mean, golly, you look at some of those kids on tape, man, they can, they can flat fly. Um, so we're excited about that, addressing some defensive tackle. Um, I think that's big, and we're always trying to the, – the lines of scrimmage, we're always trying to, to get better there. But, uh, you know, so I think that and – I, and I will say this. Uh, in, our, in our plan, we felt like going into year three would be the first time from a depth standpoint. We truly felt like we could go compete. You know, uh, you're talking about 11-game schedule, hopefully past that. But that you truly felt like you had enough depth down the stretch when somebody got hurt. Um, that there wasn't a major drop off. And so year three for me was just, I felt like we would have a shot to truly, not that we didn't before, but you know, when you, you look at the two deep and three deep, and, 
you know, you feel like you're um, – after this next class, we'll have hit our full – we'll have hit our limit, um, you know, as far as scholarship goes. I tell you, he's uh, we you know we we offered him back in the summer, been recruiting him. He's come over here. Gosh, I don't know, Coach Clank can tell you how many times, but he's been over here multiple times. Uh, he's a guy from a positional standpoint that can run. He's probably two hundred and twenty pounds. Uh, he can play either Mike or Will for us. Um, we're still you know working on uh, establishing depth uh, at linebacker. Um, you know the two guys, Izzy and Anthony. If anybody noticed. They played about every snap last year. We were fortunate neither one of them got hurt. We don't we don't didn't have a ton of depth. Um, so we're still working on depth there. So Courtney can play Mike or Will, which gives him some flexibility. He can run, he's heavy, and heavy meaning when, when you're a linebacker, man, you need to be heavy when people hit you or you hit people. Uh, and, and he's that. Um, but he's been an outstanding young man to recruit. Mom went to school here. Uh, so great family, um, you know, he, he really been a joy to recruit. Um, so we're awfully excited about him. Obviously, not always a player for you, John. He's a local product, which we, we take pride in. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, we're excited about Courtney. And the other local product, Dorian, I know I'll go ahead. I mean, you – the accolades are are pretty impressive. Um, I told the story. We recruited Dorian. Shoot, it was towards you know the end of the recruiting period before some things picked up for him. I took my son and we drove to Aquinas High School for a semifinal game. If you remember, uh, Mount Perrin played Aquinas, and uh, obviously Dorian's really you see his stats and all are on the offensive side of the ball. They showed his defensive clips today, but. That didn't even hold a candle to what he did on offense. Um, but uh, he's a heck of a player. And uh, I think they were – I think it was uh, tough on those guys, even at Tech, to, for him to leave. They felt really good about him and his future there. But he's excited to be here, and he can definitely – he's definitely going to be an impact guy for us. Anything else? All right, Coach. Appreciate your time. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.